What's going on guys? Charles R. Glaceon Gaming here with another video totally unrelated to the gaming stuff, well the Pokemon stuff I've had in the past. Today I'm going to show you an art haul from this week, last week, and this weekend. Over and last weekend, of course. So, let's get into it. First, let me tell you, the first things I got, I was really excited to get. Sorry, I'm moving around. I have to do it just right, or it doesn't work well. I got Copic Markers. Oh my gosh, it's so blurry. I got Copic Markers in the colors Cool Gray 7. You can't see it very well. Cool Gray 7 and Lapis Lazuli, which is B18. So, I got those, and you know how they're like six bucks a marker, basically? Where they're basically like six bucks a marker? Well, uh, I bought two for six bucks. Thank goodness for coupons. So I got those, and if any of you have seen the TV show Supernatural, just to let you know, all the markings and stuff on this box that I got for those markers is from it. So I painted the inside a really pretty color. And these are some of the symbols from Super the TV show, like I said. And this one being my favorite and the most complicated one to draw and paint for that matter. So if you don't and this, this is going to be a how to use your where how to store your markers. Okay. Pick which end is going to get used the first. For me, the the brush tip is going to get used more often than not than the than the chisel tip because of things and I don't know how to use them quite yet. So these child markers have two ends, which is oh, there's my hand. Oh no, there's my pants. Ah! <laughs> they have a brush tip. I showed you the brush tip on this blue one, and then they have a chisel tip, which I can't do with. Oh, I did it! I did it! Hey, I did it with one hand. A chisel tip on the other. I tried to get a gray and a blue that would mix very well. Don't mind that pile close there. There's nothing to be seen there. And, uh, yeah, I just put them in here. I gotta find which side's which. And they have a spot right there. Right there for them. Because, as you can see, my art table is taken. And then, floor. Oh, by the way, these I got from my mom's. They are not part from the part of this video. Well, now they are. But, I didn't buy them recently, so, just an FYI. I had to make sure I was putting them in the way, right way. And they sit like that, perfectly straight and horizontal-ish. That gray one doesn't like me very much. And the last thing on this glorious, in this glorious video is a watercolor pad. That It's by Dayla Rowney, and it's was two ninety seven, and I don't know if there's any artists out there, but does ninety pound paper work better than a hundred and forty pound paper, or vice versa? I'm not entirely sure. It's in the nine by twelve size, so I can use. I'm gonna try to use this this year, and by this year I mean I'm a senior in high school, so this year. So yay me! I get saluted by tons of people. Yay, saluted. Being saluted. I'm just gonna set that there. But yeah. Oh, if you're wondering why my hair is wet, I got out of the shower like 15 minutes ago. So you're good. And um, anyway, what I'm saying is, I start school this Wednesday. Literally this Wednesday. And um, I won't be making videos as often as I'd like to, but maybe I would to complain. I will uh, to complain about homework and. Uh, tell you about stuff or whatever, but I'm going to open house today to Get my school supply stuff. I need to not, not have and know and other information But come Wednesday morning I got to get up at six. 
I get on the bus at 6.45 in the morning and get it. My brother's school, uh, old school, because he's going to a different school than me this year, I think. I hope not, but... <sighs> anyway, I get there at 7.20 in the morning, and then I get to... I get on the other bus at his school, 7.30ish maybe, maybe earlier, maybe later. A lot later. It's like 7.40 or something in the morning. And then I get to my to the high school I go to, Grayson County High School, which is in um, Independence or whatever. And, um, uh, yeah, I get there at like, Eight something, sometimes seven fifty nine. It just depends on who's driving the bus. Cause I have two bus drivers. They switch out every so often. They are really amazing bus drivers. I love them. They're awesome. They're awesome peoples. And I wanted to do a quick art tour tour of all the art, school art I've done since I will be going. Since I am an art student in high school, I figured I'd like to show you guys everything I've done out in school besides. All the art that I've done at home, I'll show that too because you know what? I'm just that awesome. And uh, there's gonna be an unfinished piece in here, so uh, I gotta go get uh, a fish, not a real fish. I painted it. Don't li I don't listen to him. I don't listen to him. So I have canvas. This is the back of it because I don't want to show you the image yet. Ooh, I have a huge stack. I'm not going to go in depth. So, here we go. First one is a clownfish I painted fairly recently, maybe like three or four days ago. His name's Ozzy. And in the picture, he looked a lot grumpier than he does here because he's adorable. And I have... I made this bookmark with little Squishmallows uh, penguins because penguins are adorable and who doesn't agree? And I have a Squishmallow. I have Squishmallow. Her name's Marshmallow. Don't judge me. I am 17 and I still have stuffed animals. I have stuffed animals there. And I have stuffed animals there. And I've got a bucket of them in my brother's room, which is currently a mess. And this one's one of the larger pieces I have. I don't have anything to prop it up on show you guys, but it's le stamped leaves with quotes on them, and my favorite one being the one in the middle. It's by Bob Ross. You know me, I think there ought to be a big old tree right there. And let's give him a friend. Everybody needs a friend. That one's my favorite because it's cool. And this one says, love the, le love the trees until their leaves f fall off, and then encourage them to try again next year. I like that one. And then there's this one. Trees are poems the earth writes on the sky, upon the sky. And the best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago. The second best time is now. I don't know who said that one. But I only put some of the names on the bigger ones. On the bigger leaves because they were just there. When trees burn, they leave the smell of heartbreak in the air. I'm not going to read all of these. But just know that these are all tree-related quotes. And then I have, I need to put this guy up somewhere. I did this with watercolor, watercolor, watercolor pencils, I think. Yeah, watercolor pencils. This whole ocean pattern Vivian. And it's really pretty. And I want one so bad in my games. It's not even funny. And then I have this I did in, when I first started art class in high school. I uh, did this with a pen and ink, not like Sharpie, but with an actual old time pen, a dip pen. I did that. And just a. And here's this one. It's Pikachu. Ha 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 ha. From the. Whatever movie it was. I think it was is either the first one or the second one. I'm not sure if tell me which one it is in the comment section below because I totally forgot. And if you don't, ha uh, you if you not guys know what amino is, 
just a regular Mina. I'm on the art community there, and we had a challenge. To is called the mask challenge, and I did two pieces for it. I did this one, which I did in colored pencil on just a normal piece of sketch paper, and this one I did with a cheap watercolor palette. And it says, don't hide behind a mask. I don't know why I put it. But it's supposed to have some sort of special meaning. I did this with cheap watercolor palette again. And then this one is a Pelagic Thresher Shark I did for Art 3 for a project. And it's got other little sharkies in the background. And there's Gerald, Nemo, Dory, Marlin. David, I don't know why David's there, and then I don't know what to name this one. Fin I think we, me and my friend Jake agreed on Phineas. Hey look, it's my brother! What is that? Why does that smell like Lucky Charms? Okay, I don't care. <laughs> In the middle of filming, brother! Say bye! You say bye. This is a fish. Another fish. I had an ocean theme going on because I like animals. And I'm going to go to college for zoology. And I'm not going to be a specific. I'm not going to study a specific type of animal. I'm just going to do all of it. Because you know what? If I can save one species of one ant, one species of another family, I can save them all. But anyway, this is a fish called Mayoko's Rafts. And it's a really pretty primary colored fish. That my art teacher really liked because, you know, it's primary color. You got the red, the yellow, the blue, and face. <laughs> I'm kidding. And, um, anyway. And along with the uh, ocean theme, this is a rainbow parrotfish, I believe, with an orange fan coral behind it. The small one. Hi. The eye looks into your soul. You like my new shoes? He got new shoes, and they were 50 bucks, and they were oh, they're camouflage vans, and he's cool. Say hi! Hi. You're a widow. But anyway, I'm going to continue. All you Loki and Thor fan... Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. For all you Loki or Thor fangirls out there, this I drew for a project, and it took forever. It's, it's Dustin approved. And I didn't know what... I don't like it! I couldn't do everything. The way I wanted to do it was I could have the faces in the middle. And then each of them wearing their their helmets and uh, holding their like weapons of choice or whatever. But I decided, my art teacher wouldn't let me. She said there was no detail in it. There would be no detail in it. So, yeah, that was one thing. And then I did this. Because, uh... I don't know why I was bored, and it was a quick 10-minute drawing, and yeah, that's just how that one happened. Then we have, oh no, oh, oh, that's stuff I my cousin gave me. And this one is a red-tailed hawk. It's done in colored pencil and watercolor. You're going to hate this one. <laughs> we did this in Art 1. It, you had to find a flower. And I had to redo this flower twice. So, uh, yeah. This is the awful one. And then I have a wolf swimming in water that I got out of a magazine. I didn't put the trees in it, but because my art teacher wouldn't let me, as I said. So, this is it. And I have an Ethiopian wolf I did for an extra credit project. Yeah, that's what they look like. And an Ethiopian wolf is an endangered species. So. <sighs> protect it. And most of the reason I want to be a zoologist is to help endangered species and others like it. Like this tiger, for example, that I did in just pencil. Good grief. This one was an Art One project. This one is a mountain lion. It was an Art Two project. Oh, this one's gonna be hard for you to see. It's my last name. Oop, 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 oop. My last name. 
And this is when we were learning color theory in um, Art 1. It's got different designs. You could do whatever design you wanted. Didn't matter. I did a bunch of them. Apparently mine was less creative, as the teacher said. I don't know why she said it was less creative. But I'm creative. And last but not least, a one-point perspective cityscape I did in Art 1. With a little... Lake. Lake. Because who doesn't like lakes? That is it, guys, for this video. Uh, subscribe. Like. Like this video. Subscribe to my channel for more awesome stuff in the future. And... If you're wondering why I didn't include my Pokemon art in all of it in this video, is because it's already in a video of its own. Catch you on the flip side, guys, and I'll see you here next time. Bye!